nice. Breaking yes. news. About three months ago, I filmed a review on my YouTube channel about a romantic comedy coming to CBS called Bob Hart's Abby Shola. I never liked the sound of my name, but when you say it, it sounds nice. Bob. <laughs> Say it again. Good night, see Bob. Oh, uh, yeah, it's way better than Bob. In my review, I spoke about the lack of representation of immigrants and more specifically, Nigerian immigrants in mainstream TV. You know, Nigerians is very prideful, okay? Yeah, okay. Very intelligent and beautiful people, but very, very prideful. So you got to do it right. CBS, Chuck Laurel, Lori. Let's see. Little did I know that some of the producers over at CBS would stumble upon my YouTube review and call me into the studio to interview the stars. Welcome to my channel, guys. I am here with Folake. Did I say that right? Folake. Folake. <laughs> so you know my American tongue. I you got it. For that. Congratulations you. on Bob Hart's Abishola. Thank you. Did I say that right? Abishola. Abishola. Yeah, but it's, it's the thought that counts. But I'm Nigerian, though. Like, I should be able to do this. Yeah, you, uh, you got it. I, okay, so I do have some questions for you. Okay. And once again, I want to thank you for being on my channel. My pleasure. Uh, first question is, how did you get into acting? And who was your inspiration? Ah, uh, inspiration. I don't know. Uh, how did I get into acting? I got into acting because uh, my parents were specifically opposed to me being a musician. And it was around the same... I guess creative field so I figured I could get into acting and segue into music but then I kind of got stuck, stuck. <laughs> yeah I liked it I, I became natural I was enjoying it it felt right and most of the opportunities came in that field so I stuck with it and uh, my inspiration my inspiration would have I'd say it had to start it started with Michael Jackson because that's where the magic started mm -hmm. with music and then uh, and then Julie Andrews with the sound of music. But I'm still I'm working on music. I'm always working on music. Yes. Yeah, I will. I play the guitar. I play the guitar, and uh, I'm, I might be releasing a single very soon. Ooh. Maybe like the next couple of weeks. Wow, that's very something. soon. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> what, what is this for? This is for my YouTube channel. Oh, I just come to say hi. Hi, hi Aloha. This Aloha. Aloha, nice hi. hi. You have a great channel on YouTube. And on YouTube? You the pilot. <laughs> I'm crashing, I'm crashing. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your character, Abishola. Abishola. Abishola is a, she's a nurse. She's a Nigerian immigrant. She's moved to America for a better life for herself and her son. Uh, she's a single mom and she's moved in with her auntie and her uncle and she's just focused, she's tunnel vision and focused on creating a better life for her son and herself. But mostly her son, who's going to become a doctor by force. By force, by fire. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was very interesting for me specifically because I never saw Nigerians represented on American TV and for certainly I never saw my immigrant mother, you know, represented on television. So when I saw that, I was like, I felt that okay. representation and it was so spot on. And I think you being Nigerian, you bought that, you brought that authentic, Thank you. you know, like culture to it. Um, can you tell me a, a little bit about the relationship between you and Bob? Do you like him? I don't know how, how is that? Like, well, it, it started just as another, um, work transaction in a way. I was there to care for him as he recovered. And um, I guess he saw something in me and I enjoy his um, company. I enjoy his company. He provides something that I haven't experienced in a, in a long time. And um, while she's still focused on work, she's open to a friendship with him. And which role slash character can you relate to the most out of all your um, audience work? Which role or actor? Whoa, that's a good question. Out of everything? Yeah. I think a little bit of everything. Yeah. I think during the casting process, I feel like they see something in you that's similar to the character that makes them cast you in a role. So all of them. Um, from Bob Abishola to, to Life on Transparent to... Minerva and Death Race. How has your experience been as a dark skinned natural hair woman with hair and makeup on set? Um, I've definitely had some interesting experiences. Yeah. I think now um, with all the conversation that's been happening 
um, come, I've come across are willing to go the extra mile to make sure it's a lot easier. Um, I mean, in general, it takes a while to build your team anyway. Um, up until then, it was, it was a bit um, disheartening and, and, and sad some of the situations I came across. But it's better now. It's getting yeah. better. Yeah, a lot better. You yeah. look great. Thank so you. obviously, Thank it's you. a lot better. <laughs> into this world with a divine purpose. And I think it is our parents and our caregivers' uh, responsibility to nurture that, as opposed to imposing their will on us, on you. Um, as long as you're not hurting yourself and hurting anyone around you, any other human being, I think you should... Um, Follow your dreams and and rely on your intuition. Thank you so much for coming on my, my channel. My pleasure. Thanks for I having me. Look forward to channel. seeing the show. I think Hello, you're everybody. <laughs> so now I would like to welcome your co-star Billy Gardell. Bob. 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 <laughs> uh, be sure to watch Bob Hearts Abashola. Bob. Uh, September twenty third <laughs> on CBS, and uh, you can check your local listings for times. And that our show is going to be a wonderful, kind journey that's going to make you laugh and feel good. So what's better than that?